Princess Diana epitomizes the act of gracefully emerging from a limo. Even during the height of finals week, students at Northwestern University stop to see, perhaps shake her hand or give her some flowers. So she made that two-minute drive pulling up uh, to the law school, which is actually this is just one block from our studios. Let's go to Linda McClennan there now. Linda? Last year, there are probably about two to three hundred people lining the street to catch a glimpse of the princess this morning in a pastel blue suit, looking incredibly refreshed from the, the night before, a, a long day of travel, as you said. She is headed into the law school here at Northwestern University. The sun is just ducked behind some clouds, but there are students at these. Gilda's Club is another organization that's going to benefit from her uh, being here and her raising money for cancer research. That is what they're trying to do. It was set up by the husband of the late Gilda Radner. Gilda Radner, as you remember, died of ovarian cancer a number of years ago. Her husband has remained very active in trying to raise money for cancer research. They are trying to set up sort of a, a whole network of Gilda's Club Linda, across the country and, in fact, overseas. They are places where cancer patients and their families can go for support, for social and emotional support as a supplement sort of to their regular medical care. Then the Royal Marston Hospital, the largest, the largest comprehensive treatment and research center in Europe. And Diana, Princess Diana, is the president of the Royal Marston Cancer Center. All of those, all three of those medical organizations will benefit from the fundraising that's gone as evidenced here on the streets of Chicago. It is with the greatest pleasure that I present to you Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales. The Princess was the special guest at a symposium on breast cancer. It featured some of the...